Okay, so we have updated the personal information. Now we're going to go to the company information here. So click on company, and it's very similar to the personal information. We want to make sure that all the information that you have showing is accurate. The first profile summary will show some information for you, um, how you've filled out your, your profile, again, the percentage. You can upgrade your listing and promote it. Contact us for some pricing information on that. And down near the bottom, it'll show the organizational information and website information and how you've completed that. When you see a, an exclamation point, it means that we need that information. If you choose not to include it, that is fine too. It's really up to you what information you want to include but it does let you know the areas that you can update that. And then the map pin information. If you want people to find you on a map, please include your information, your address there. Uh, next is organizational information. This is, again, the name of your business and your address, if you want to include that. Also, um, your established date, how many employees, and um, who the billing contact will be and the preference of um, whether you want to be emailed or called. Save those changes once they are made and then we'll do employees. Here you'll see how your name listed. You can go ahead and add employees and reps to this list by clicking on add employee rep. If you want to make any changes or want to deactivate someone that you've included, go ahead and click that person and you can deactivate them. You're welcome to add as many people as you'd like to receive our emails. And if you'd like to give them access to register for our events, our events you can do that as well. Next down is website information. This is a big one, so we're gonna do this in a separate video.